All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at a very important, crucial part to my EDC. This is the Topps Knives Devil's Claw Hawkbill Design Blade. Take a look at this. This thing is awesome. I've got about six months under my belt, literally. I've been carrying this appendix for about that long. Um, there's been a few occasions where I haven't added this to my EDC. Um, some days I just can't justify it. PA's laws are kind of squirrely. Um, this has to be used as a utility knife. I know a lot of places um, advertise this as a, oh, what would you even consider this? I guess a tactical knife, you know, a force multiplier, something like that, um, which, you know, most pocket knives are going to be a force multiplier in a self-defense self-defense situation so you got to look at it that way but everybody's state laws are different you know you can't carry fixed blade you can carry you know folders you know here in pa we can carry fixed blade knives we can conceal them um, but you just have to have a reason for why you're carrying it so this is why i use it as a utility knife i mean if push comes to shove i can use a utility knife for self-defense i mean if my life depended on it i could but I don't want to get too technical with uh, my state's laws and confuse you with your state's laws. Definitely do your research before you go out and purchase any knives. Um, make sure you can legally carry it too if you are carrying said knife. So moving right along, let's take a look at the knife a little bit more. Um, really cool features on it are these G10 scales, these blue and black. They're just absolutely gorgeous. They're really thick too, so for someone with a bigger hand, you really get a good purchase on the knife, which, you know, is a definite plus and a selling factor for me. One of the reasons why I bought the knife is it, it just felt right when I was holding it. So they also, on the spine here, offer these serrations for your hand to um, see if the, knife, the uh, camera focuses on there. So yeah, that's gonna give you a really positive grip with your thumb, the knife isn't gonna slide. So I, I really like that. The steel they use, Topps uses really good 1095 high carbon steel on uh, almost most, well, mostly all their knives. So that is definitely a, a plus. And one of the reasons why I, I use Topps knives for just about everything from my hunting knives to my EDCs, uh, I really trust their products. Now getting right into it, your blade length is about, we'll call it two and five eighths inches long. And it does have serrations on the blade. And it, they give you about an inch of serration. So that's definitely nice. Gives you that added cutting ability there. So we'll get the scale down in here. And I just wanna take a look at the weight. Um, for knives, most knife guys don't even care about weight, especially something like this. I'm not really worried about it being, you know, 4.4 ounces. That is not something that I'm even worried about, you know, in my EDC, you know. So we will just move that aside and take a look at something else altogether. The Kydex sheath that comes with the knife is probably just as impressive as the knife itself. This clip is one of the best factory clips I've ever received on a knife. Um, this J hook down in here, it once it's locked into place, I'm not worried about this going anywhere. I go to draw the knife and it is it is so nice. It is just locked into your belt or the inside of your waistband, which I've been carrying this appendix. Um, and it kind of, it, it obviously goes in the waistband appendix and it locks on the inside of whatever pants I'm wearing plus over the belt itself. It's awesome. Such a positive lockup, such a great clip design. I love it. And the Kydex, the Kydex definitely um, has that hand fit look, but it does have your mass production finish, you know, with these sanded edges and stuff like that kind of gives it that, you know, that look, but they definitely do an incredible job with their Kydex. Something else you could do with a knife is remove the clip altogether. I wouldn't advise it, but you could then carry this as a neck knife if you wanted to run some 550 cord through it or get, uh, you know, chain, something like that. You could technically use this as a neck knife. I I would strongly advise against it. I, I think if you're using this in self-defense, having to reach up under your shirt to try and get to a knife creates a lot of problems. I've always been very anti-neck knife just for that simple fact that drawing a knife, you know, from underneath your shirt, you could, heaven forbid, you cut yourself. You know, I mean, something like this, this is not a dull knife by any means, you know. They, they ship these from the factory ready to go. So it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not something I would... Uh, want to run down my stomach or anything like that. So that, that's just my reason for not liking, you know, neck knives 
but there might be some people out there who who do enjoy a neck knife where it rides. I mean, your body type, obviously, I'm thinking about myself, my build. I can run this appendix all day long in the car, at work, you know, anywhere, you know, and I don't have a problem with it. So that is just one thing, you know, everybody's body type is different. I mean, if the only way you can carry this is via neck, more power to you, go for it. I'd rather see somebody carry a force multiplier than, than not, you know, just because of your build. So that that is an option. So realistically, the only thing I saw with the knife that really concerned me when I was carrying it is just when I go to draw, I feel like the way this sits in here, I only have, I think it's, it's under two inches, I believe, a two and three quarter inches of real estate to actually grab. So when I'm drawing the knife, my finger almost kind of goes the outside of my pants. I'm grabbing like this with only two fingers drawing, and then I have to bring uh, my pointer finger up, wrap it up in and get the good purchase with, uh, with my thumb. So I feel like, you know, I kind of draw it goofy sometimes and then just kind of have to fold up under and it kind of repositions the knife slightly. It's not a deal breaker, but I just, I wish it was a hair longer. And I guess talking about length, we can look at this too. Overall length, like six and a half inches. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think an extra inch make it seven inches overall. It's not, it's not going to be a deal breaker. And then you're going to have a little bit of real estate for, you know, your pinky. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, overanalyzing it a little bit, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. But, you know, being able to draw that and have that real estate there would be mad nice. But the serrations on the spine definitely help uh, accommodate that, you know. And you can make a nice fist too. So don't get me wrong. Still an awesome knife. Well, that'll about wrap it up. I don't have too much else to say about it. This was just an overview. Wanted to show the knife off. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. It's definitely comfortable. I mean, even doing yard work, I keep it in just to see how, you know, it functions, how it feels. And it's awesome. Perfect fit for me and my everyday carry. I don't know if it'll be perfect for you, but I say give it a shot. Blade HQ right now has them for like 95 bucks. So if you're in the market for something like this, uh, head on over there and check them out. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just one of the best prices I've seen so far. So go check that out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.